Hello, 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 hello. Hello? Is anyone on the phone? Hello? Who's there? Is this a prank? Oh boy, I hate these pranksters. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to it. Ooh, ah, what day is it? Is it Friday? I can't even tell anymore. Every day is run day here at the Giant Bomb East Studios. That's not true. We're going to get started in just a second. I'm very excited to be here with Dan Reichert. That's me. Yeah. You know what I did yesterday? What do you do? I watched a bunch of Chris Farley videos on my ride home. They age pretty well. He's a funny guy. Farley had a had a presence about him. Yeah. Uh, even everyone that he worked with back then would always say like he was the funniest person on the face of the planet. He seemed. He, I watched a bunch of interviews. I watched some like Conan interviews with him. Mm -hmm. Some bits. He just seemed like a guy who was out there doing his working. Yeah. Working hard. Sweating a lot. Working. A lot of sweating. A lot Maybe of moving. Not the healthiest lifestyle. A lot of this. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of that. Big man tiny I, jacket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I. It was also, you know, sad to watch some of it because of course. you know how that story ends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a lot of like, issues. Oh, please, yeah. He, it sounds like the shit he would do at SNL. Like, I read Jay Moore's book about his two years working there, and, like, he never got shit on the air, and he had all this anxiety and everything. It's a fascinating book, actually. But he said, his, like, his first week there at the writer's room, it was just him, and he was so intimidated about, like, oh, my God, it's Phil Hartman, it's Chris Farley, it's Mike Myers, all these guys. And he was so nervous, and he just didn't want to, like, draw attention to himself or anything. And Farley liked to fuck with the new guys. And so I guess they're all sitting around this table. <laughs> Chris Farley is like, I got to go to the bathroom. And he gets up and walks around. He gets to Jay Moore. He pretends like he trips and he puts his face like he falls face first into Jay Moore's crotch. And it's just like, <laughs> it's just like going nuts in his crotch. And Moore is just horrified. <laughs> he talks about seeing him poop out a window once at 30 Rock. Oh, okay. He put his butt out the edge. And he said it looked like the inside of a Fig Newton, just kind of like squeezing Ew, out. Who yeah. said that, Jay Moore? <laughs> Jay Moore said that, yeah. That it's like if you took the wrapping around a Fig Newton, it's just like that little squeezed out of Farley's asshole and just dropped out of 30 Rock. He sounds like a fun guy to work with. Miss that guy. Um, I'm going to check the cameras. Inside of a Fig Newton, huh? Yeah, just a little thin little, uh, thin little fella coming out of there. <laughs> Not a lot of people know that about Chris Farley. <laughs> Tiny <Please>. butthole. <laughs> <laughs> just he like said a, he was straining for a while. Just like, like a, <laughs> just a straw, just like a time, just a. <laughs> it's in the book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, made me laugh. Yeah, funny uh, guy. Phil Hartman. Phil Hartman was one of the Maybe most the talented, best. Like, what was that called? A smile. Straight man. What's the, what's the when you s smile? Well, no, that's not a smile. He's just like that deadpan smile. That he was like, just the ultimate straight man. Yeah, but he could play the like super goofy Frankenstein monster, or he could play like the dad in some yeah. sketch. You know, it's just like oh, he's so good. He was incredible. Some real talent went through there. I was talking to you. <laughs> got, I was talking to Eugene about old SNL stuff. Yeah, uh, and that's why what got me watching it. Um, yeah, just going back and looking at it, which is funny because like his heyday is like. More Belushi, uh, right. and stuff like that. Right. And I was like, oh, mine was definitely more of the Myers, Farley. That's when I started. Yeah. Like, 91 is probably when I started watching. I was like six or seven. Oh, wow. I, I don't think I missed an episode since. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Wow. Have... And every one of them read all the books about it. Like, it's fascinating to me. Like, it's, there's so many, like, everyone says, like, oh, SNL sucks now. It's like, it always sucks. SNL has always, always, like, it had, like, Two or three sketches, maybe, on a great show that were really, really good and had solid endings. And then just a bunch of stuff that, like, you yeah. get the concept right away, and it's like, okay, like, we're going to do this for five minutes. Years, and years later, you remember the good sketches. Totally. Yeah. yeah, and the compilation DVDs and everything. Yeah. Like, you just remember the good stuff. It's, it's an institution. Like, it's an institution. It is. Hey, doing a lot of live stuff all the time. I want to see it live. That's one of my bucket list things while I'm here in New York. I it wanna, ain't always going to be gold. I got to see us now live. It's tough to get tickets. Is it? I enter the fucking lottery yeah. every summer. I can't really? get in there. It's yeah. really hard. How, it's really so it's, they reset the waiting list? It's not like there's waiting lists for years? You well, just... they do a lottery every before every season in the summer. And then they also, like, if you stay overnight outside of 30 oh, Rock boy. in the fucking cold, uh, there's a chance you can get in if it's like a host that isn't like, you know, if it's like a fucking Justin Bieber, there's going to be 8 billion young fans lined up around the block. Mm. But the people, uh, yeah, the people who I know got in have camped out to get in. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, you've got high, you've got connections way on high now, Dan. Don't you know somebody who can get you in there? Uh, yeah, I'm in the White House now. <laughs> No, boy. I, think, I, yeah, I don't think host. they're going to let you. I yeah. think, maybe don't leverage those connections to try and get Not into so it. Not so much, no. <laughs> if you'll go with actual comedy connections. Uh, anyway. 
We're, I think we're ready to start. What do you think, Abby? Sounds good. Here we I'm go. I'm feeling it. Okay. I'm feeling it. Here we go. Watch this. Oops. <laughs> 